Hey, what's up, everybody? So, you know, Sheamus is the new WWE Champion, but to tell you the truth, it doesn't really do it for me. I don't know what it is about Sheamus and why he, he doesn't do it for me as Champion. Maybe it's the way he talks, his image, you know? Doesn't seem like a major top heel of the company. Now, he's been a World Champion before and a WWE Champion. He defeated John Cena in a tables match in TLC 2009, then defeated John Cena again and I fatal four-way match in 2010, then defeated Daniel Bryan in, um, at WrestleMania at 28. The thing is, like, with Sheamus, as a champion, he was never really, he never really had an image I liked. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I'm bored watching wrestling. I'm bored with Sheamus being champion. I'd rather Dean Ambrose become champion. I mean, was it predictable for him to cash his money in the bank at Survivor Series? Yes, it was, but Sheamus as a champion, now him facing Roman Reigns at TLC, in a, TLC, in a TLC match. Like, think about it. Roman Reigns versus Sheamus for the championship. I mean, it just doesn't seem like a good, solid, you know, main event to me. Like, it doesn't seem like a big enough draw. Whenever Sheamus is champion, he's never a big enough draw for the company. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Heel or phase, he just isn't a good champion to me. But that's just my opinion. I think I'll take a break from watching wrestling until, like, the end of TLC and see what happens, but... I don't know. Roman Reigns and Sheamus both to me don't seem like they have it and they don't really reach the brass ring that I'm looking for here. But that's just my opinion. If you like Sheamus as champion, that's totally your opinion, but me, it doesn't do it for me. That's all I want to say. Have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to. I'll, I'll talk about wrestling later. Have a nice day. Bye.